where we left off on a little bit of that conversation <clears throat> as it pertains to the Pittsburgh Steelers and their quarterback situation. The latest news, by the way, offensive coordinator has been hired to replace Matt Canada. It will be Falcons former head coach Arthur Smith. But the quarterback position is a big question mark because Kenny Pickett in his two seasons in the league has had some flashes, but overall like a, a lack of consistency and has not put up anywhere near the numbers. I'm sure that this offense was hoping that they would get from him. Right. And so they're, the Pittsburgh's in the classic dilemma state, right? They have a quarterback. He's not really good enough. They pick too low to get one, right? And they don't know where they're going to go. And they have no cap room to sign one. So Pittsburgh has, right now, they need to make a few moves to get below the cap. They're $15 million above the cap right now. That's no big deal. You can rework contracts, cut players. That's fine. But to sign a Kirk Cousins, you're going to need substantial room because he's not coming for free. Now, would they be interested in Russell Wilson if he were let go by it, which is going to happen? Unless he reworks his contract, he's getting let go the second day of the league year or the first day of the league year. So um, I think that's the only fit you could see Pittsburgh. To me, they're bringing Rudolph back. Now, if I'm Rudolph's agent, I don't want to come back to Pittsburgh if they're going to go sign Kirk Cousins. Right. I don't want to go back to Pittsburgh if they're going to sign Russell Wilson. I'll go back to Pittsburgh to compete against Kenny Pickett. I got no problem doing that. But if you're going to pay somebody and sign me, that, that gives me no pathway to, to, make, it, to make it to the, the starting quarterback job. So they're in this dilemma that a lot of teams get themselves into because they don't have the answer at quarterback, and they drafted it. It's the same place the Patriots are in when they drafted Mac Jones, and now they need one, but they have the third pick in the draft. They can solve that in the draft. Pittsburgh can't get there to solve it. Yeah, and they've been in kind of this weird quarterback purgatory the last handful of years when Big Ben was on his way out and he had the mobility of a tree, essentially. And then you you draft That's Kenny nice. Pickett, who hasn't lived up to expectations. You look at this season, his numbers through 12 games prior to his injury, 62% completions, 2,070 yards, six touchdowns and four interceptions. Six touchdowns and four picks in 12 games for your quarterback. That's just, that's that can't be what you have. And then you have Mitch Trubisky, who goes over in the games that he started. He just ha signed a two-year extension before this past season. And then you have why? Mason Rudolph. Why exactly? Exactly. And then you have Why? Mason Rudolph, who smaller sample size, but in the, the three games that he stepped in prior to the playoffs and then obviously the playoff loss, 74.3% completion, 719 yards, three touchdowns, no picks in the four games that he appeared in. But I, I would still prefer to bring in a veteran, to your point. I think that's what they need to do is go out and get somebody that can take this offense to the next level because as their owner, Art Rooney, said this week, he's growing anxious and impatient about yeah. their lack of playoff success. Well, the window's kind of closing on them, right? Watt's still in his prime. They got, you know, Minka Fitzpatrick. They've got Patrick Peterson. They're good enough on defense. They just don't have enough juice offensively. And they need to get over that hump. They need to. And they've got skill players. Look, Arthur Smith's going to walk out to the first day of practice with Dante Johnson and Pickens and say, wait a minute, you got better skill players than I had in Atlanta. <laughs> and I was drafting skill buys, right? So... And they've, they've tried to repair the offensive line. They've done a better job there. It's the quarterback. So, like, if you plug in Kurt Cousins, they'll move the ball. Yeah. They'll move the ball. With Arthur, with Arthur Smith, they'll move the ball. He'll be, they'll be good. They can't afford him. Or maybe they can afford him, and they're going to have to create some cap room. If you put in Russell Wilson, could they? Could probably be. It'll be much better. If Mason Rudolph played like he did at the end of the year, is that going to be good enough? I don't know. I'm not sold that, that I could go all the way in on that, right? But he did play well. So that's the dilemma Pittsburgh's in. And, and hoping that it's going to turn around with Pickett is what Art Rooney is saying they're not going to do. They're not mm -hmm. going to hope for it, right? I think that's the key thing. I think so, too often Atlanta offseason last year, we have Desmond Ritter. We don't need – Lamar Jackson. We're hoping he works out. How'd that work out? Arthur Smith's now coaching in Atlanta. Coaching in, uh, he's now coaching in, in Pittsburgh. Oh. Steelers won the Super Bowl in 08, played in the AFC Championship in 2010, but are three and eight in the postseason since their last Super Bowl appearance and have not won a single playoff game since 2016. Go to vsun.com slash subscribe to become a vsun Pro subscriber today.